My voice is a little hoarse. My eyes are a little bleary. My back is a little sore. But my spirit is strong. The crowd stretched out the entrance, around the corner, and around the next corner. An estimated 2,500 people came to see Barack Obama at St. Peter's College in Jersey City on Wednesday. 500 of them had to be turned away. But neither that, nor a two-point loss to Hillary Clinton in the New Hampshire Democratic primary the night before, seemed to dim Obama's popularity. Lisa Moore, a graduate student at Princeton, wore a pin that read, Hot Chicks Love Obama. I think it's the first time in a long time that I felt inspired about politics and felt like um, while the actual policy differences between the candidates, I think there's, there's a great number of choices this year that Democrats have in terms right. of who to elect and the policy differences are pretty small between them, but I think he brings a new kind of energy and um, enthusiasm to, to politics that for me as a young person going into public service is really invigorating. The crowd tended to be young, but not exclusively. Jersey City resident Emma Richardson is 74. He's young. He's young and he wants to change things. And young people is the one that's going to have to step forward and change. Change the thing for us. We are older people, but older people is set. They don't want no changes, but we need changes now. More than anything, people felt they were seeing something special. Ben Dolson is 23. In Obama, he sees his generation's John F. Kennedy. But I feel like um, something like this happens once every 50 years. Um, a candidate like this happens once every 50 years. So, um, and it's usually a, a bit too late. Like JFK was a bit too late, um, and Obama's a bit too late in terms of, you know, you wish you could you could have had a candidate like this before. Right. But it, it's awesome that it's happening now. Obama spoke for 42 minutes, touching broadly on many common campaign issues health care, the economy, the war in Iraq. He did not mention his Democratic primary opponents by name, but speaking under a banner that read, Change We Can Believe In, he promised his audience the new day they came to Jersey City to find. Every generation, if it is to make its mark on history, when that spirit of hope shines through, when we are willing to cast aside the doubts and the fears and the cynicism and reach for something better. No one is gonna require hard work when we welcome and embrace the hard work of remaking our communities block by block, precinct by precinct, city by city, state by state. That is the moment we are in right now. This is our time.